Good morning, my name is Tracy and I'm in the Glass Garden Studio and today I'm going to be talking about health and safety. It's a common subject, subject we start off before we start working with our copper foiling. Then we're going to start working on the soldering iron, chemical flux, solder and also the reason why we use a sponge. So I'm going to talk about my soldering iron uh, and also why I use the Antex. The Antex is a really good price. This 100 watt is necessary to help our solder to flow and it comes with a stand. Now the stand is very important. It keeps our soldering iron away from the board and it's safe. The wires, remember, come down to the bottom and go down and back to your socket. So you must be aware where your wire is so you don't pull it. Also, you can see my soldering iron tip is very dirty. So I'm using my sponge, making sure I give it a good wipe before I start. And it's very gentle, you don't have to saw at this, it's just to take off the carbon buildup. Now the, so uh, the sponge, is we actually use a man-made sponge. Don't use the synthetic ones for kitchen because they will just melt. melt. It's especially designed for this. So make sure you buy the proper sponge and it's just damp. You don't need it very wet. So I want to talk about this element. This is our chemical flux. It's, a, it's actually zinc chloride, but it's been very diluted. Zinc chloride is actually designated as an acid. But as you can see here, it looks very much like water. I've diluted this so much, I would describe it more as an irritant rather than an acid. But this chemical flux helps our solder flow. And what we must remember is to use our brush when we dip it in, not to overload the brush because we don't want to splash with our chemical flux. Okay. So this is our solder. Our solder is made up of 60% tin, 40% lead. This solder is specially designed for copper foiling, but we must be very careful with this. If I just demonstrate to you the heat as it drops and it makes blobs of solder, now that solder will be extremely hot for quite a while. Do not touch it. Don't push it away with your fingers. Push it away with your solder stick. As a reminder, when you're working with these chemicals and solder, use your safety glasses to protect your eyes. And remember to wash your hands after you've finished working. 